Tulip, we have an emergency girl because this person watching this video right now is not giving me a smile and you already know, Miss Tulip, how I feel about people not giving us a smile. <laughs> hey girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Aquarius. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be getting into your monthly tarot reading Aquarius for December 2021, darling. So if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this monthly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Aquarius, which cards resonate and how, because that's how I keep up with y'all is through the comments as well, Aquarius. If I always do really appreciate it if you were to give this video, my channel, some support completely for free by giving this video a like and subscribe. If you enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, Aquarius, I always do appreciate it. I also do your weekly Zodiac readings every single Wednesday, darling, so be sure to check that out as well if you'd like to get some further messages. Be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Aquarius, to get the full spectrum of what's going on in your life at this time for your monthly predictions as well as your weekly. So let's get into this, Aquarius. Let's see what's happening for the month of December 2021 uh, for you, darling, all right? Remember, if you want to book a private personal reading with me, my website is simplyvelka.com. All right, Aquarius. So, Queen of Wands coming forward to you, Aquarius, with the Wheel of Fortune. I don't know why I'm moving my hands, my arms so dramatically uh, to show you these cards, but we'll go along with Annie. And then the Eight of Pentacles, darling, coming in for you, Aquarius. So definitely for my more career-oriented or passion-focused uh, Aquariuses, I see a lot of forward ground for December. I kind of see this uh, for you guys in a way where Eight of Pentacles, by definition, represents uh, going back to school and kind of just up leveling i see i don't really go into the message of just like going back to school but learning more about your craft um that helps elevate your career going into the next step right um wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune could be turning either way darling whether it's more misfortune darling or whether it can be fortunate for you because of the eight of pentacles and the queen of wands here for you aquarius i come with uh bearing very fabulous news that it's looking really positive for you guys. I do see for a lot of you Aquariuses at this current point in time, uh, you guys branching out more in December. I feel like you're going to, going to be receiving a lot more exposure um, by you refining your craft even more. I feel Aquarius, I feel as if um, you're going to be inspiring a lot of people through your own success as well. I get this impression that uh, the people around you, it's like as like the uh, abundance starts rolling in for you in the progression in a very positive way, um, people are going to be looking at you, Aquarius, and be like, oh, darling, you like, you see what's going on here, right? They're going to be like, what, are you, what is, what's different about you, Aquarius? What's changed with you? Like, how, what, how are you doing this? What's going on, right? I do feel as if uh, for you, Aquarius, as well, um, it just feels like this is going to be a month of just things deepening uh, for you. In terms of financial, I feel like there's going to be a lot more uh, ways for you to um, financially, uh, well, just more <laughs> back that up. I feel as if financially, you're going to have a lot more options to uh, increase the funds in your bank account, Aquarius. There we go. Um, not necessarily just like things plopped in your um, in, in your lap, but more so in a dynamic Aquarius where it's like um, something that you already do it's like you're having ideas or ways to um take it further and gain gain further uh finances from it uh aquarius i can't help but get this impression that you're gonna have the opportunity of doing some type of collaboration or doing something that um helps get you this money as well with the wheel of fortune it's almost as if this is a month aquarius where it's like anything you audition for or shoot your shot with you're going to have a lot of positivity in that regard you're going to uh be accepted in those uh positions especially if you guys have been putting i'm being shown resumes now um so if you've been putting your resume out there some of y'all haven't been putting your resume out there or your cover letter you've been having this desire of shooting your shot in some type of way 
Aquarius, right? Um, giving me very much so uh, Aquarius. It's reminding me this energy. Uh, <laughs> keep in mind, this is like all intuitive and um, you know, so, like, I have a little ducky on my earring. So take my intuitive messages as you will Aquarius. But I get this impression where it's like you want to like cold call somebody. And what I mean by this, it's like you want to just be like, uh, as like an analogy, you want to just be like, oh, like, let's just use myself as an example. Right? don't think I'm trying to gas myself up or anything, darling, um, where it's just like you want to like reach out to me and be like, oh, hey, Valka, like, I think I could really uh, help you out. Let me work for you. Let me be your manager or what have you. Right. Even though I don't have any experience, let me, you know, give me a shot. And it's in that vein, obviously replace me with whatever, darling. Right. I'm not trying to gas myself myself up or hype myself up in that way darling it's the only like i just wanted to like get the uh point across by what i mean by it so hopefully that doesn't get lost by the uh silly analogy so uh aquarius definitely this is the month for you to be shooting your shot i feel like i kind of said this to you beforehand as well um of shooting your shot knight of cups be open to opportunities because opportunities are coming towards you aquarius now the knight of cups can be representing of people or of actual opportunities themselves and i feel like more so for you aquarius it's kind of an intermingled uh or intertwined thing rather aquarius where it's like a person's involved in the process of it but it's almost as if you just have like a person sitting there with a cup filled cup filled with water or opportunity right and you know all you have to do is ask be like oh hey can i have some of that or hey like where did you get that can you help show me how you got to that cup right or that opportunity um excuse me but it, you know you, there's like reservations there being like oh i don't want to be a bother or what have you aquarius right whatever the narrative is mm -hmm. I feel as if like all you have to do is just simply ask and you shall receive right you shall like it's like some of you guys are just really 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 Aquarius overthinking um, the situation rather than uh, just doing it so a lot of you Aquarius are in your head and I feel like that's gonna be what directly stops you from welcoming in a lot a lot of this positivity uh, coming into your life or trying to come into your life rather Aquarius we have the Ten of Cups, darling. Your reading does, just continues on in such a fabulous way. Um, I do also feel inclined to uh, tell you, Aquarius, I haven't told any other sign this, um, but uh, I feel like you guys really would resonate and benefit from keeping Citrine around you at this point in time. Citrine is actually the only crystal um, that I know of that is self-cleansing, so you don't have to cleanse it at all. Citrine is that one, is this crystal known for abundance, a little bit of a pricier crystal, um, but it's really known for abundance and i feel like that's kind of the uh energy that you kind of will most relate to during this month is citrine so if you have citrine keep it around you uh ten of cups though getting back into that uh ten of cups is the card of all your cups being filled so not only is it like financially being fulfilled but you're also fulfilled in just the relationships that you have a better sense of self aquarius um i really do feel like this is going to be a month where you feel a lot more alive than you have in quite some time i know that's going to sound a little bit weird aquarius but that is just something that i feel where it's just like you're going to feel just so lively during this time which it makes sense when you think about it because of that queen of wands here you're going to be feeling very inspired it's like you're going to on some levels feel a little bit invincible in ways once things start once that wheel of fortune starts turning in your favor if it hasn't started to already um for some of you guys it's going to be like weird it's like this realization of where it's like everything that you try to do it starts being successful is that some of you guys end up uh developing a little bit of a god complex not and this is not me chastising but it's like a sense of a god complex and be like man like is like everything i do just going to be working out you know very much so resonant with the midas touch right where everything you touch turns to gold that's a better way of putting it rather than god complex because i feel like god complex has like a negative association uh aquarius but yeah darlings you guys are really having a lot of success coming in for you we have the hermit energy stepping forward to you as well um definitely uh aquarius why i would be saying at this time is make more time for your craft this is really a time for you to give your 
whatever that queen of wands is for you to give it your all right so if you're wanting to be more self-employed if you're wanting to do certain things in your life uh put in the work for it right don't you know don't wait until like a certain milestone you hit or anything like that you know do those cold calls do you send those emails and uh shoot your shot in that regard aquarius whether this is in terms of career or whether this is in terms of someone that you want to have a relationship with or a friendship with uh aquarius uh, regardless of whatever the case may be is going to be very prosperous for you i feel we have the hanged man coming in for you so all you have to do is commit you know that's how the hanged man gets into the position that they're in is like the hanged man initially you know they are shivering in their boots right when they get up to the point of being hung um in that way it's such a weird way of trying to explain it because it can sound kind of negative huh but it's just like up until the moment of right the hanged the man that's being hanged uh hung hung is scared right they, they don't know what how it's going to be turning out and then after they commit to it right they just do it even though internally like they're just screaming inside so nervous anxiety you know all of that like they could just throw up with the overthinking right um once they commit to it they realize just the abundance and happiness that is associated with it after the fact right so it's like during the process of it it's very nerve-wracking but it's after the fact you see in this art brick it doesn't really showcase it that well aquarius but most cases of the hanged man it's always a sun being associated right behind them and you only see that sun through that change of perspective through that commitment of following through with something aquarius that you actually have the sun energy here um the sun card is the best card in the tarot deck if you don't already know aquarius so um yeah let's see what advice we can get in regards to this spread we have the three of wands as well as the seven of cups in the back of the deck aquarius is the six of swords trying to come in uh normally i don't talk about if something's inverted or not i just say the message but six of swords inverted this is where i'm going to kind of call some of y'all out aquarius y'all have been very resistant into uh letting go of a you know not transitioning on from something you guys are clinging on to an old way or a person or maybe like a scenario of some type um you guys are fighting it and it's time for you it's really like especially with that seven of cups here it's like a uh, paralysis by over analysis i think i've even told you that recently in a weekly reading as well aquarius darling mm -hmm. So it's like paralysis by uh, over analysis because you're having these things presented to you. Three of Wands confirms that you have these things presented to you, Aquarius, but then you just start over complicating things and thinking too much about it when really you just need to take action, right? You know, some of y'all need to drop the uh, or lower your perfectionism standard, right? Uh, and accept the fact that even if it's not your absolute best, Aquarius, it's still worth being seen. I'm going to say that again for people so it can really hit with you even if it's not your very best that you consider your best aquarius doesn't doesn't mean it's not worthy of being seen right even if i don't feel like this reading's my best reading that i've done right i still think this reading is going to be worth being seen by some people right and so don't limit yourself right don't you we're always overly critical of ourselves and you kind of just need to be very unapologetically an aquarius and to just really put yourself out there and just commit 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 aquarius is really uh, the main message here all right let's get an animal oracle card for you as well Mm -hmm. we have the eagle spirit coming in here number zero in numerology well, actually i don't think there's anything associated with zero in numerology so with the eagle spirit coming in here you know the fool card is also associated with the number zero um and so i do feel as if you kind of have to just let go man you have to just let go uh aquarius you have to let go and kind of just like exude that full energy of taking that leap of faith and just like doing it right 
the eagle is uh, i believe the eagle is like the the united states like bird or like the animal that is associated i don't know the word for it um but i just know that america really loves an e bald eagle honey um and i feel as if with this eagle uh the eagle even if they are feeling nervous their exterior is very cool right the eagle is very is associated with power sorry there's like a fluff here that's bothering me is associated with power right the eagle um um, really just does the dang thing and doesn't think about uh, what could or might happen. The eagle just does it, right? So really this is all about just like freedom in a sense for you Aquarius really just release the shackles that you have on you get rid of the inhibitions that you have that keep you from that keep you playing low all right let's get into a socially for you tap into that see what's going on there Aquarius so we have the world card coming in with the six of cups and then the ten of swords aquarius Ooh, darling so aquarius this is probably what many of you guys are clinging on to um six of cups past energy world card cycle ten of swords closure that cycle painful cycle um very clear cut to the point Aquarius I don't feel like I need to even pull any more tarot cards this energy here I feel like it's partially responsible for why you are playing yourself small Aquarius whether it's through their own intention or unintentionally just through your association with them you kind of are playing low because of them I feel like you need to surround yourself more with people that celebrate you more Aquarius I feel as if you need to be around people that relate to you more and help inspire you more rather than enabling you to play it low or having allowing you to be comfortable not pushing yourself right um aquarius this is really just like this main message of just like letting go of this old energy so you can have new energy come in yeah seven of pentacles right you invested so much into this energy and i feel like that's partially why you haven't wanted to let this go um but this is kind of time for you to be switching your garden almost right that's what the seven of pentacles is known for is where it's like those seeds and having that like you know i guess like with it's like a nest right Intending to this energy it's time for you to and also I like the theme where it's a bunch of avery for y'all's reading interesting um so really aquarius take this time to really just uh let go of people definitely from your past there's someone that you have given 20 chances to right that ten of swords i always say those ten swords didn't just happen overnight uh and so definitely aquarius you need to let go of that so because there is some type of social energy here that is having you play small so so Aquarius, that is a monthly tarot reading that I have for you, darling. Hopefully you found some cards that resonated. If you did, let me know in the comments. Give this video a like and subscribe. Remember to, uh, if you want to book a private personal reading with me, Aquarius, my website's always linked down below, simplyvelka.com. Next to my so social medias, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. Also just being Simply Velka. But uh, until next time, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius, I love you so much. Bye.